Hello, thanks for joining us at Sporties for today's live stream. My name is Chris and we are going to review the new X-Plane 12 flight simulator program. This program has been out for about two to three weeks now. I will say this is still a beta testing program. So we're about 99% of the finished product. But if you buy it today, you'll keep getting the improvements and you will get that finished product. You kind of just get it a little bit before it's completely baked in. Uh, not anything we're going to cover today will change. So let's jump into what is unique and new about X-Plane 12. The first thing I like to highlight is with X-Plane 11, from the home page, we had a bunch of blue bars on the left side to choose what we want to do with the simulator. And with X-Plane 12, you can see there's some new visual graphics. So let's quickly run through all these. We have resume last flight. So whatever you programmed into the simulator for the last time you flew, that option's right there. You can go ahead and start a new flight, changing all the variables this program offers. That's the one we're going to jump into in just about a minute. We can save a flight. Let's say you really enjoyed uh, flying the simulator a certain time of day, time of the year, location, aircraft. You can save all that and then easily load it for a recreation of said flight. We can get into a flight school if that's something you're interested in. Um, and these are pre-configured native uh, programs that will load and show you what X-Plane 12 can do. The first one is X-Plane Basics, which features the Cirrus SR-22, uh, which is new to X-Plane 12. We have takeoff in a 172, tail dragger takeoff, landing in a 172, and then traffic pattern. So very elementary things, but uh, to help you understand the simulator better. We can get into a couple navigation abilities, uh, focusing on a VOR navigation or flying an ILS approach, both challenging yet rewarding scenarios. And then one I know nothing about, which is helicopter basics. If you find yourself a whirly bird pilot and you want to fly uh, a helicopter in this program, you have the ability to do that. So let's jump back to our main topic here, which is a new flight. And this is where we're able to configure one of the 22 aircraft that are included in X-Plane 12. Uh, we have uh, the Airbus A330, Cessna 172, Cirrus Vision Jet, uh, Lancer Evolution. We've got the Robinson R22, a couple new helicopters for this program. If you want to kick the tires and light the fires, you got the F-14 Tomcat at your disposal. Aircraft on floats, then an ultralight. So we have a lot of aircraft to go enjoy this simulator in. I do a lot of my flying in a 172 steam gauge, so that's what we're going to do today. So we click on this one and we can get into customizing it. We can get uh, into changing the paint job or skins as it's called in the simulation community. We can start with engines running or we can start uh, with them turned off and do a cold start. We can get into weight and balance of our aircraft with visual cues where our center of gravity is, our total payload, and as you see, it changes with the changes you throw in. We can change our total internal fuel weight, and you'll see our flight time right here. We'll go ahead and change to reflect it, along with our total weight. So a lot of uh, granular things you could get into with the weight and balance of a 172 or those other aircraft we talked about. And then you can also get into failures. Uh, there are a lot of different failures you can program into X-Plane 12. Um, I'm not gonna get into all of them because that would be another 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, you can set time in between failures. You can set when they go live, clicking a certain button, hitting a certain airspeed, hitting a certain altitude, uh, practice the impossible turn. All those things are easily programmable into the simulator. And then once we've got the airplane configured, we choose our location. I already have a setup for Ronald Reagan, Washington International Airport. We are on the runway. You can select a three nautical mile approach. So if you want to just practice a bunch of landings in a short period of time, you have that ability. You can also do a 10 nautical mile approach. So let's say you want to throw in some weather, practice some instrument approaches. You're already 10 miles out, get it configured, and really work on that precision. You can do it quickly and easily with this uh, weather. We can go ahead and get into a couple pre-configured settings for this. We can get into downloading the real weather for our airport, and it will automatically populate what's happening at our airport we've chosen. So here at Reagan International, you can see there's some wind uh, direction changes. We can see there's some cirrus clouds at about 
23,000 feet. Again, a lot that the, the program will automatically do so that uh, it's like flying in the real world. So that's enough about weather. Uh, we can change time of day. Let's get into the aircraft, which I'm sure is what a lot of people tuned in want to see. So here we are. I've already got us on the runway, engines running in our 172 at Reagan International. Uh, so as you can see, the inside of the flight deck looks very realistic to what you would experience in a 172. I've already got my Honeycomb Bravo configured for throttle, for mixture, for flap settings, as you'll see changing. We also look at our trim wheel down there. Um, we do have the Honeycomb Bravo here at Sporties. We have it in stock. And then we also have the Honeycomb Alpha, which I like to use for our yoke. Um, a very precise simulator tool. I like using it quite a bit. When using a simulator, I like to just get rid of the yoke for majority of my flying, just so I can see more of the instruments, some switches. Uh, another thing I think worth highlighting with X-Plane 12 is when you have the airplane started, as you can see our parking brake is engaged right now. When you click on both braking pedals at once, it will automatically disengage your parking brake. I know that is a much requested feature for a lot of digital pilots who get an airplane, they get on the runway, they go full throttle and they're not moving. Where's that parking brake button? So X-Plane 12 covers that very well. So we've got our parking brake disengaged. We've got our pedals set up. A um, couple final things I'll cover is you can quickly scan through a different uh, views that the aircraft offers. So here is inside the aircraft, the one I use the most. Here's outside. Here is a 2D representation, so you're not able to change your view. You're always set there, which can be helpful for sometimes instrument, things of that sort. Uh, again, more outside the airplane. This is if we were in the tower watching the 172 take off. And this is all quickly, easily available for you to go ahead and jump around. But enough about what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to take off uh, from an angle I usually don't sit in a 172, uh, but something to show the program. Uh, now, one thing I like to highlight about X-Plane 12, and I think is kind of an indicator of how well the simulator operates in the digital environment, is our vertical speed indicator. So as I am rotating through 55 knots, let's change our pitch for VY, which is about 74, 75 knots in the 172 here. Once I hit VY, you'll really see the VSI starts changing and giving a realistic indication of what you get in a no normal 172. A lot of times you'll get in a simulator and that VSI is jumping around. I did uh, some of my uh, flight simulation training in a Frasca and that thing would go uh, all over the place as soon as you looked away. So I really admire the fact that in X-Plane 12, that VSI is stable, it's realistic indications, uh, and that's just one of the many things we could talk about that make this more of a simulator than a game. So here we are climbing out of Reagan International. Uh, we could talk about this all day, but I just wanted to go over the basics, talk about why it's a great program if you're considering flight simulation at home. Um, all the pieces you see in front of us, the Honeycomb Bravo, the Honeycomb Alpha, the Logitech rudder pedals I'm using, we sell here at sporties.com. And X-Plane 12, we also sell here at sporties.com. Uh, it's a great simulator, great program, and I'm going to log a lot of hours in this over the next few weeks. So we hope this video might have answered a couple questions you have. We have a designated page at sporties.com under flight simulators where we cover all the hardware, blogs, videos, uh, and there will be a lot more added on X-Plane 12 in the weeks to come. So thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.